Plastic is all around us. It's in all parts of our lives. But rarely do we think about how much may already be in our bodies and how much damage it could do. And for any blokes watching, you might want to put down that plastic drink bottle. From the heights of Mount Everest to the bottom of the ocean, microplastics are everywhere. But now new research has revealed they've turned up in the last place you'd expect human testicles. We're talking about a fragment of plastic and so often people just think it's, it's that, but what it actually is, it's a vehicle for a lot of chemical compounds. New research suggesting microplastics are messing with men's swimmers, contributing to a global decline in male sperm counts. There's this fragment of plastic and it gets inside the body and it can actually disrupt and damage the cell itself. The birth rate bandit, tiny pieces of plastic, less than five millimetres long. The results of drink bottles and cans breaking down over time, as well as microbeads, a common feature in beauty products. Some of us now almost more plastic than person, with research detecting microplastics in blood cells, placentas and even breast milk. The developing foetus is far more susceptible uh, to you know, uh, environmental exposures and chemical harms. And so if we are seeing microplastics potentially transferring across the placenta, it is absolutely concerned. It's not possible to avoid microplastics, they are everywhere in the world around us, from the food we eat to the water we drink uh, to the environment that we live in. Research suggests Aussies now consume at least 50,000 pint-sized particles a year, raising concerns for their health and the planet's. Microplastics for the environment are incredibly dangerous. We're starting to see that there are a number of these problems just simply by exposure to, to plastic. And with plastic pollution set to double by 2040, there are warnings this revelation might just be the tip of the iceberg. We should be taking the precautionary approach to this, you know, immediately banning all single-use plastics. Uh, yeah, we should be having a, a nationwide policy on it, immediately implementing it. Unless we do that now, our environment is going to be filled with these plastics in the next two to three decades, and the problem is we're not going to be able to remove them from the environment. We are live from the lands of the Kulin Nation. Joining us tonight to chat plastic and a whole lot more, Liz Ellis, Kate Langer. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> it's so exciting to have Kate Langbrook, the lead researcher on that study. Yes. Well, when I heard Nano, I did think of you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you care to share something with us, Tom? Uh, yeah. I'm scared about this. I'm, I'm going to wear two pairs of underwear from now on. I don't, I don't know if that'll think help. That, I don't think that is how you... But how do you stop what? the plastic oh, getting it, in? Is that how you think the plastic's getting <laughs> well, in? Well, I don't understand. What do you mean there's plastic in my genital? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't understand. Feel better. It. There's plastic everywhere. It's a bit depressing, though, isn't it? What do you like, mean there's plastic? There's plastic terrible. everywhere, like everywhere. in us. We've all got it, and it can, can come from plastic that's broken down. It can be in our food sources. In, it's in makeup. Makeup. Yeah, no, I mean not that we oh, wear, wear makeup. makeup every night. You mm. do. You do. Oh. But see, the thing is, the thing is with this that I find <laughs> actually is that we what we just don't know yet mm. because we're only just starting to see this research well, be done now. We, we know, know it's, it's not, not good. 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 We know it's not good. And th at that the actual microplastics can be quite abrasive, especially when it comes to your respiratory system. And I feel like I've that... been short of bra like my asthma is playing <laughs> up at the moment. <laughs> is all of this adding and up for you, Samuel? Yeah, and, and sometimes people say my acting is quite plastic as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half plastic, half human. You might have an incurable and case. They say... You're kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real kick energy right here. Yeah. <laughs>